I've had a person ask me the kind of new way to do internal links, like anchors used to be an old CS6 version of uh, Dreamweaver. I'm not using CS6 now, now I'm using uh, Dreamweaver CC 2014. This is a butt ugly looking page here, folks. Forgive me, I just pulled some text onto a page from my website. This is a demo of how this works. Uh, so let's say you know you have a link like this graphic link I've made here. And what I want this to do is go down to where it says graphic design by Tony Lee Glenn down here. Now this page is, is a short page. I guess I could pull this up some so it'll maybe it'll display. Well, you know what let's do? Let's sample this in um, in Chrome rather than here in Dreamweaver anyway. So what I've got, I created a link that this is graphic link. And it goes down here to a graphic design. How do I do this? You see this, that these lines are on this. This is a div. And what I did, I highlighted Tony Lee Glenn, and then I put up here, I said, insert a div. And when I did, I gave it a name. And the name I gave it was graphic. I'll show you how you do this. Uh, I can do it with, let's do it with another one while we're at it. Let's pull this a little farther up the page. Like, say I want to use, uh, recommend, well, this is where I recommend Roger Teague, a really great guy that does print design for me. So I'm going to say right here, I'm going to say insert. So I did, I highlighted it. I'm going to say insert div. We'll call this Roger. We don't put it in class, we put it in ID. R O G E R. Say OK. And I'll go back up here to the top and I'll put another link in here. I'll say uh, my favorite printer. This guy's gotten some good prices for me over the years. It's not an ad for him, but it's a nice little nod to him. And so I highlight it once I put it in here and I say link and I'll put a hashtag Roger. Okay, I'm gonna say save. I did a control S to save this page. Now I'm gonna go over here and in this I'm gonna say preview in Google Chrome. My Chrome pops up on the other page over here, so I'll pull it over here. Now here's what we'll do. We'll make this page smaller so we can see kind of how it, how it, uh, rolls down there to Roger. So, ooh, did it not take my, okay, I must not have gotten my link in there right. Let's try this again. Hang on a second. My favorite printer and link is going to be hashtag R-O-G-E-R and now, now I've got it in there. Control save, save. Now we can see I've got my link. I'm going to go over here and we're going to preview it in Chrome. Chrome pops up onto the page, so I'm going to pull my uh, over on my other screen so now I got a link to my favorite printer I click on it and it should go it came as close as it could Roger let's go back up to the top let's do this let's pull this back a little bit more maybe pull it up that way you can see that it does go to the right place on the page my favorite printer it does go to Roger here so this is an example of how you do it with divs on just the same page you just insert a div and do it I've been doing some testing here so let, let's let's do it on another page now uh, I have already done one for my a software link on this other page. I've done a, a links to page. See, I'm on links right now, and I've done the second page. And to prove that it's the second page, let me go over here in design view. I've gone ahead and done blah, blah, blah at the top. Let's Rather than show you how that was done here, let me go ahead and just do the same kind of deal here. Let's say I want this page to go to graphic design by Tony Glenn. Uh, or let's see, what else is something we could do here? Uh, software. Let's say we get this uh, uh, Oscar Schmidt on this page, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just really, I want to come to this area here. I'm going to go ahead and just, I could highlight any portion of this and say insert div. It's going to wrap it around the whole thing anyway. And we'll call this Oscar. Go ahead, C A R. Okay. Okay. Boom. Now I've got a div around this whole thing called Oscar. So I'm on the links to page. I'm going to say file, save. I'm going to go ahead and close that page. I don't think it's important that it be open. I'm going to go back over here to this page, which is a totally another page. And we're going to say uh, link to guitar. We'll call it guitar link. You can call it anything you want to call it. And we'll do this. And we'll go down to link. And we'll say, now we want to link to that links to page. So I'm going to go, I'm going to click to the links to page. Okay, I did that by clicking on the little browse for file. But then I want to go to hashtag Oscar. Spell it wrong. And we'll do a control save. Okay, I did a control S. Control S is what I'm really doing for save. Then I'm going to do a preview in Chrome. <clears throat> so now we're looking again at this uh, page. And I got my guitar link on here. Let's pull this up a little bit so it makes sure it goes to the right place. Uh, guitar link, boom. And it goes to the blah, blah, blah page. And it should have brought us right down to Oscar, but it didn't, did it? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, I've still got links. I've done this wrong. 
How did I do this so wrong, folks? Keep an eye on me here. My bad. Forgive me for wasting your time. We'll go back to uh, design. So again, guitar link. And this has to say, then after this, hashtag O-S-C-A-O-S-C-A-R. I guess I didn't click outside of it. Control save. It says make sure that we're right this time. Guitar link. And now it says Oscar. All right, we're going to save. We're going to preview in Google Chrome. It's back over here. Now we'll click on Guitar Link. Boom, and it goes right to Oscar on the other page. Now, this would work, of course, when, once you go live, too. You'll just have to have instead of, uh, you know, well, actually, as long as you're inside the same folder on your site, you could, you could also go to an external site to somebody else's site if there were a link on that page. But... Uh, you know, a, a, an anchor you found or a div somewhere on somebody else's external page. But in your page, you don't have to put the HTTP or www or anything in front of it. You just do the links. So there it is, folks. Quick and easy how you do uh, div links in uh, Dreamweaver uh, CC 2014. Thanks for watching.